What's going on, Internet? Uh, call me Entropy. I'm a uh, producer, a rapper, I guess kind of a DJ, and I'm just going to give y'all a little bit of the story and a breakdown to let y'all know about uh, somebody I consider, you know, a mentor and, a, and not necessarily a friend because I don't personally know the guy personally, but he does definitely have a lot of my admiration and respects uh, shout out to game with uh, busy work speeds and his staff that works for him and, and pretty much i want to break it down to why you know i think that basically his platform that he's put out i don't think people realize and acknowledge this but he's essentially been able to create what i would like to call like a like a revolution or a movement or, or even like a renaissance if you want to take it and break it down to like the days of like michelangelo and da vinci and all these other artists out there but uh i digress so about two years ago was when my story started uh, i was at a kind of i guess you could say a rock bottom spot in my life uh, i'd been you know it was in my late 20s basically i had worked pretty much 10 years straight in the construction field or whatever I was a uh, project manager and a, a foreman for you know multi-million dollar projects, and I had a uh, you know one winter or whatever work kind of slowed down a little bit, and I had a bunch of shit hit the fan at the same time, and I was like in debt, had all these other issues in my life or whatever that were holding me back a little bit, and I ended up getting my car repossessed, and that ended up snowballing into a lot of other bad shit happening basically. So. Long story short, I ended up losing pretty much everything in that 10 years that I had worked for is materialistically speaking. Uh, you know, where the furniture, you know, my, my, my home that I was staying at, etc., etc., all that pretty much gone. I, I was living in a, in a condo, renting a room out from a dude, selling my tools and stuff to just to pay the rent where I was at so I could, you know, not be on the streets and shit. Well, Anywho, at that, about that point in my life, I uh, decided, you know, hell, I, I, fuck, fuck this bullshit. I want to actually be able to do something that I enjoy. And I ended up stumbling across a tutorial of his, you know, like, trap beats and whatnot. I've always been a real big hip hop head and shit. And I thought, you know what, I'm fuck it. I, well, fuck listening and being a fan of other people's music. I'm gonna contribute to the art and the community as well. So. I started giving, you know, checking out these videos and stuff like that, and you know, one thing led to another. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm going to sleep at night with his voice in the background and shit, like, busyworksbeats.com, over and over, man. He'd be, like, getting brain brainwashing myself, no offense, <laughs> I'm just messing with your game, uh, giving you a hard time, but these videos, a, in just the sense that he broke it down in a sort of way to where he, he, he used words that were simple. He did things not in a, in a sense of ego to where that he was like some kind of like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a guru, I know more than you, etc. Very, very, very just humble approach to how he educated his, his audience and everything like that. And, uh, and on top of that, you know, I would say in like your producer community or if you are an artist, if, if you don't rap or whatever and you think like production's beyond you and you're going into like the fucking studio and shit and paying other people to like track your records and stuff like that, I mean that's necessarily like I didn't have the money or the funds at that point to necessarily, you know, go pay for like, I didn't wasn't actually able to actually I mean, pay for the busy works beat courses at any point in time. Hopefully the all the revenue from the views that I, I added from YouTube helped out a little bit. So, you know, my bad on that game, you know, if I had the resources then or even now at this point, I would have probably, you know, definitely try to like capture some more knowledge. But in the past two years, just from the breadcrumbs that you've given out freely to those, it's benefited me massively. That being said, anybody that's watching this, I'm like, I'm totally going to plug his products and say, go for it. Because you probably will be double where I'm at two years if you do. I'm not even, I'm not even lying. Like... It took a lot of time and just studying and researching and practicing and trial and error, basically, trial and error. And I never got into this whole game thinking about it like, oh, I want to be rich and famous. Or I want to be the next, you know, what the fuck, Eminem or, you know, the next, you know, Run the Jewels or any of these other really popular, you know, hip hop groups that are out there or whatever. You know, I, I have a lot of respect for hip hop artists out there that are producers as well. And uh, I will say that, like, you know, that they definitely are kind of like artist inspirations of mine, but nobody single-handedly has put more into my, like, 
my beat making and rap game, etc., etc. And, and on top of that, too, the dude gives good life advice, man. He's like a Tony Robbins of production. He really is. And like, I, I, I put that shit on my mama, you know? Like, I, I, you know, so, like I said, I highly recommend everybody that wants to look at this, check it out. I mean, he'll break it down to where, like, you know, like I said, uh, even a dummy can learn. You know what I'm saying? I'm not calling any of y'all dummies or saying I'm smart or whatever. I'm sure there's pl people that in two years have learned more and retained more of his knowledge than I have. And so, don't, by no means am I putting myself on a pedestal. I just, I know I have a knack for learning and whatnot, so it benefited me kind of in the process, but I'm telling you, out there, if you have music as a passion in your life, whether or not you're doing it for money as a job type thing, as a career, I'm not doing it personally for that. I just do it because I, I like to make music, honestly, and it's a passion of mine. I'm not, like I said, at this point in my life, I'm not very materialistic, so, you know, all the follows and likes and shares and promotion, I don't really even care much for that. I do it more so for my friends and just the people that want to hear some some new different shit because, you know, I made it a point early on to make, make my stuff not necessarily go against the... the you know, it went against the grain of what was already popular. I'm more of a uh, classic, you know, more of like a boom bap style hip hop fan than I am like a modern day, you know, trap. I don't want to, I'm not going to talk any shit about like mumble rappers or whatever because it's all art at the end of the day. But it just wasn't my thing and I wasn't really trying to appeal to any sort of demographic or ride anybody's coattails basically. I figured, hey, you know what, if one day people are out there paying me to make music and whatnot, yeah, that's fine, but I want my art to speak for itself and whatnot, so, like I said, anybody seeing this video, if they want to go check my shit out, look up Entropy, it's spelled with a zero, so basically, E-N-T-R-0-P-Y, I probably might not have been the best idea or whatever, I might be kind of ripping off Tech 9 with the whole number shit a little bit, but, eh, you know, we all bite each other a little bit, so at the end of the day, like, you know, just... Yeah, ever go out there. Good luck to anybody out there that's in the. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. And then, you know, straight up, mad love out to game and the rest of the Busy Work Speed staff. I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, basically, hopefully, this video reaches some ears or whatever and convinces some people out there to go, you know, pursue their own passions and dreams and whatnot.